Speaking. thing these days. But I'll tell you what I was doing recently, Dave. I went down to, uh, well, I hate to admit this to you, but I like to oh, spend ahead, a no, lot of time down in uh, uh, Nicene Marks. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, I've been working on a comedy album, and it's going to be coming out soon, but I've been working on a comedy album, and uh, I, I put together a rough cut, mm -hmm. and I thought we could play it maybe at the top of the next hour, but let's play it now just for fun to see if anybody's out there listening, because this is a <laughs> bit like when I was on last time and we did the uh, death whistle, but this is a, an audio skit, and, you know, it's a shame nowadays you don't see more people doing audio skits. Like, remember Fireside uh, mm -hmm. Theater? I hate it. I, I never really liked that. But anyways, that, but the point is that, Cheech you know. Cheech and Chong. You know, Cheech and Chong. There you go. Yeah, Perfect. Cheech, Cheech right. and Chong. So I'm working on a comedy album of skits. And this is a little rough idea. And um, it's about a man. You want to play it, Dave? Sure. Let's do it. Well, here we are, everybody. It's Friday the 13th. And as I promised, I'm walking us down to the creek here in Nicene and Mark's where we're going to try to get some video footage of the elusive Bigfoot. Ooh, scary. All right, this looks like a good place here. See if we can, uh, well, let's try to see if we can listen for the Bigfoot. Oh, I think I heard something. I think I hear the Bigfoot down here. Oh, well, I got a tweet. Is that Bob? I'm not there. What? Tweet. My car broke down. I couldn't make it. My car broke down. I couldn't make it. Bob? Uh. Uh. Is that, is that you, Bob? Oh, man, this is not good. This is not good. I got to get out of here. I got to hoof it. I got to hoof it. What's going on? Now, this is the end of the skit here, Dave. It gets a little bit dark. Uh, <laughs> the man gets eaten. And there's a tweet there at the end, uh, his buddy. But see, it's not quite done yet. But you see where it's going? Yeah, I you see. Get I see. Uh, idea. <laughs> That's so good. We're going to have more stuff like that on Flight to All right. I yeah. like it, dude. I like that. Um, and does this guy live? Or did, no, he, he didn't. No, you got to find out. Stay tuned to the next skit. All right. All right. We have to stay tuned. That is what a Bigfoot sounds like, right? I, I believe so. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I believe so. Okay, well. Four seven nine one zero eight zero two one eight five seven two six. DM at KSEO.com. We're spending the day with Billy Army. If you have any, hey everybody, any ideas? You have any topics Stuck that you want to hear out about? There? We will talk about them. Call in to us here at Flight Ten Eighty. I am co-piloting at the moment. I just played a interesting uh, skit about the Bigfoot, and, you know, it makes me wonder, really, about what Bigfoot sounds like, um, because there are audio clips there on the Internet of Bigfoot. People you know, you know the, guy, the guy up in uh, Boulder Creek? I don't know if it's Boulder Creek, uh, up on There's Highway 9. There's a museum up there, right? Yeah, he's got audio uh, Does of, he? of Bigfoot that he says has been recorded in the Soquel Hills and the Santa Cruz Mountains, but in the Soquel Hills, he says that how, he has... How can we be sure that it's not just like his cousin? And, uh, I, I and really some kind of a I, voice modulator. Hey, someone sent in a text and says, uh, George Carlin was in the first one. Ah, guys. was the first one. I, I told I you. Forgot. I was I, trying to tell you that. Well, I forgot. I, so I, I, I did not know. I haven't seen those films in a, a long time, no. David. A very long time, David. I have better things to do than watch those films. I mean, really. Well, they're I, for I don't fun. think I could watch that. They're yeah. for fun. I saw a, a crazy movie the other night on the internet because a lot of people, uh, there's movies on uh, YouTube, and it's great to watch movies on YouTube because you can see all the classics. But unfortunately, it violates copyright, so people will upload it, and it'll be like only a third of the screen, and the audio's off. So I've seen all the classics, but, you know, and speeds that are incorrect and off. Right, or backwards. Or, yeah, Or sometimes ridiculous. upside down. I saw this one movie, uh, they were streaming it, and this is a, this is a real movie. Uh, Elijah Wood was a producer on it and it was called the uh greasy strangler i do not <laughs> recommend serious? seeing it don't don't see it don't see it, it the uh, greasy strangler the, david the the lead one of the leads is a very old man uh -huh. and there's a lot of nudity in it uh-huh and all i can say is long and thin 
Oh, jeez, that's gross. What's yeah, it called? Yeah, it's called the, the Greasy Strangler. He's got, now he's looking it up. Gonna... See, I shouldn't have said anything, David. <laughs> the Greasy Strangler, you're right. You're right. Yeah, and I guess that um, Elijah Wood was one of the producers on it. He's got strange taste if he was one of the producers, because I'll tell you what, it's a weird movie. Why did you watch it? What, did you sit there and watch streaming. the whole thing? No, it was streaming on YouTube. So I'm like, oh, here's a free movie, because this guy was streaming it out, and it wasn't, you know, it was, it was his full streaming it, and he had his head on top of it. Um, that sounded bad. No, he had, uh, what people do on the internet, you see, David, is on YouTube, they'll stream out and they'll have like them, we're sitting here, and then they're on top of the movie and they can get away with it because they call it commentary or something. But anyways, uh. he was streaming this thing out, this greasy strangler, and it was, you know, humorous uh, in parts, but uh, disturbing. And uh, uh, older man, long and long thin. <laughs> All right, 479-1080. Um, believe it or not, we got a call. Maybe it's the wrong well, that's number. Beautiful. Maybe, Who is calling maybe out he there? Got the Who's wrong joining number. us here on Flight 1080? You are in the air caller. Neil. Hi. I was just. Um, it seemed like you were soliciting um, <clears throat> some feedback on that on that skit, that piece that you, you just played. Yes, sir. Um, <clears throat> well, I'd have to give it a thumbs down because the obviously that the the purpose of humor is to elicit a laugh response. And oh, uh, I didn't do that for you. Well, I can look at any script and count the punchlines. Uh, I didn't see any punchlines, not one. The <laughs> premise was established, but then it was so grindingly slow, and there was no payoff. I couldn't tell whether somebody was killed at the end or what. So it's, you uh, liked it. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm really on the fence about it. Uh, maybe one of the greatest. <laughs> Uh, I am so excited, uh, yeah. and thank you for calling, Neil. Thank you for that feedback. I love it. And some would argue that you know, that would be called anti-comedy, but I don't believe in that. But I, unlike Neil, I cannot, when I'm writing comedy, I cannot count the punchlines. But, no, everyone is different. And that's just the way that it is. But that's great that Neil called in. And like I said, Neil, that is a rough cut of a comedy skit. Right, and the unfinished. premise is there, and it's not quite there. But you are correct, Neil. At the end there, uh, we do not know if... What happens to the man, or even if is, that is the big? But all we know is that the guy comes. Out, la, 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 la. That's what happens to him, Neil. If you were walking out in the forest, Neil, and that happened to you, I'd probably laugh. Maybe. Not. <laughs> Anyways, you know, you got to use your imagination too, right? You I mean, use it, your imagi yeah. I picture Bigfoot sounding like. Am I wrong, uh, Dave? I don't. I have never seen a, a Bigfoot, so I, I, I couldn't answer I've never seen you. a Bigfoot either, but I imagine that's what it sounds like. Joe in Happy Valley, you're in the air. What's going on, Joe? Okay, I never thought I'd say this, but can we get Billy Sunshine back? And I just <laughs> want to say, my five-year-old sister's been in a band. I think, like, half the population has been in bands. We don't need to hear your little aspects of being in a band. Thank you. Aspects of being in a band? He must be listening to a different show. Maybe that was the wrong number. I don't know what you're smoking, buddy, but I want some of it. Four seven nine one zero eight zero two one eight five seven two six. Maybe no one just maybe just nobody likes you, Billy. That's maybe no. Just... It's okay that nobody likes me. That's the whole idea. I don't want you to like me. I want you to hate me, hate me a lot. The more hate, call in with your hate here on four seven nine. I thought it was funny, Billy. I thought it was funny, and I'm looking forward to the tasty or tainted. Well, uh, we're gonna have a good time. Uh, game show coming up in the next hour. That is fantastic. That's great. Now. Yes, sir. 